you will need a 10 millimeter wrench, a nut driver, an 18 millimeter wrench, a flathead screwdriver, and WD-40. Basic components of a natural gas kit are the low pressure regulator, the gas mass sensor, the solenoid valve, and the fuel line. Use an 18 millimeter wrench to disconnect the fuel line. The line will not be under pressure. Use a 10 millimeter wrench to remove the three bolts holding the low pressure regulator in place. Use a nut driver to loosen the clamp connecting the low pressure regulator and the gas mask sensor. Spray WD-40 to help you remove the low pressure regulator without tearing the connection. Pull out the electrical connections. Loosen the clamp on the back of the gas mask sensor that is closer to it. Use the 10 millimeter wrench to remove the three bolts holding the gas mask sensor in place. Replace the old gas mask sensor with the new one. Spray WD-40 on the back connector before putting it in place. Tighten the bolts. Connect the electrical connections. Put the low pressure regulator back in its place. Tighten the bolts. Reconnect the fuel line and tighten the bolt. Tighten the clamp connecting the low pressure regulator and the gas mask sensor. Tighten the clamp on the back of the gas mask sensor. Start the car and check for any gas leaks using soapy water. Check the low pressure regulator as well. The low pressure regulator diaphragm has to be replaced if the liquid bubbles. Find our video on CNG Utah's webpage to learn how to replace the regulator diaphragm.